is correct. And we're going to start off in Class 5A with the big dogs. We had three area teams playing tonight to open the Class 5A postseason. Two were at home, one right down the street from us here in Conway. That would be Carolina Forest, the Panthers. Looking for a little bit of mojo going into the postseason. Of course, they were coming in feeling pretty good, so to speak, finishing second. Big win over St. James last week to get that second seed. And, of course, this home playoff game tonight, taking on a familiar foe in River Bluff and a former North Myrtle Beach head coach in Blair Harden. Indeed, some familiar faces. Mm -hmm. Momentum. How about the Panthers shake up? That is a good question. It was an equally matched ball game. Indeed. And we go out to Panther Stadium. And here come your CF Panthers, ready to get things going early on. Opening drive right down the field. A chance for the lead. Scott Saylor with a dart. Nathan Schusler does the rest. The senior wideout having one heck of a season. How about an all-zone season? Yep, he's on the all-zone team. 7-0 CF. Gator Storm right back. Cooper Johns, a load for River Bluff, hits the end zone. Gators take their first lead up 14-7. Panthers rally the troops. Sailor and the offense back to work. The QB lays out a dime. Anthony Aponte comes away with one outstanding grab. Carolina Forest would find themselves down at the half, 21-14, but they would rally with three scores, Andrew, in the third quarter to pull away to grab the win. CF. CF, CF, victorious, 42 to 28, not 54. It was 42 to 28. Panthers pick up their seventh win of the season, but here is the doozy and the sprinkles on top of the Sunday. Scott Saylor threw for five touchdown passes in this game, setting a new Carolina Forest passing record. That's pretty impressive considering the host of quarterbacks this program has seen over the last eight to ten years. Congratulations to Scott on that record. You want to talk about how Carolina Forest battled back in their season to get even over 500 and to carry momentum, the X Factor and all that? The guy at the helm there, indeed, yep. Scott. Scott having a fantastic season. Big reason why he is a 2022 All Zoner. I was going to tell him tonight, but. I didn't want to get him out of that zone, you know what I'm saying? Still so, with a big matchup for them, too. They do. They, yep, they, they got to go down to the low country, take on another team that has had a stellar reputation when it comes to postseason play in Goose Creek, coming off a win tonight. So CF is going to have to do it on the road if they want to continue on in the playoffs. But boy, this is a good start for Mark Morris and his football team.